and welcome to my channel. My name is Ashley and I am a crochet designer that also teaches crocheters how to have a successful handmade business. Recently, I put out a three-part video series all about how to open an Etsy shop with step-by-step -step videos of me opening my new Etsy shop, Wild Grace. If you haven't checked out that series, I have linked it down low for you. I got a lot of positive feedback from you guys for that series, so I wanted to put together another one for you, this time all about email lists. I did a Tuesday Talks Live a couple weeks ago inside of the Ash and Tay Crochet Facebook community all about email lists and I've taken that long video and turned it into four shorter, easily digestible videos to help you start harnessing the power of email inside of your crochet business. In this video, part one, I show you why I believe having an email strategy is crucial to a crochet business or any business for that matter. I go over some of my real life numbers with you guys and bring up a few points you may not have thought of. So if you are wondering if having an email list is even important or how to use an email list to grow your business, grab your whip and a cup of coffee and give this short video a listen. Okay, um, I love talking about email lists. Email list will be a Crochet Boss Academy issue. It will be one of the first, first like six issues email list will be in there. It is vital to your business all businesses. Crochet Boss Academy is specifically where I teach um, crocheters how to sell their finished pieces. So when I talk about it over there, it will be um, for finished piece sellers in mind. But any business that you're in, brick and mortar, big box, little stores, uh, designers, digital things, finished pieces, whatever it is that you are in business, if you have a business, you need an email list. And I'm going to tell you why. And it, it's very, very good. These are all good things. So your email list, if you can send your ideal customer an email, the chances of them seeing it are higher than when you just post on social media. So according to Jasmine Starr, when I post on social media or when you post on social media, only about 4% of your followers will see said post um, and we can do some math right now we can just see what was so my you want we'll go for my most recent one it has 490 likes so let's say 490 people saw that information right so I have 26 100 zero, zero followers Divider divide her times Taylor so 490 is a very small percentage of 26,000 we could even just say 500 Oh, oh, the answer is 1%. <laughs> so 500 is 1% 1 of 26,000. Uh, so that is how many people saw my post today. And let me tell you how many people opened my email that I sent. Ye I, I sent one today, but it was not through this email provider. So it was my Crochet Boss Academy one. But yesterday's email that I sent out about the new resource on my blog had 1,574 opens. So more than double, more than double of my people on, you know what I mean? So 490 people on Instagram or 1,574 people through inbox. And that's 30% of my list. There's still more people that might click on it um, in the next day or so. Sometimes that happens. So that number could still go up. So reaching your audience you have a higher chance of actually getting the information out to your people when you send it to them instead of um, posting it on social. Another thing, you, you and I, we do not own Instagram or Facebook. We don't own those platforms. If, if Instagram or Facebook, Zach, Matt, Mark Zuckerberg, wakes up tomorrow and says with everything that's going on with quarantine and corona i think social media is just making it worse so i'm gonna shut it down i'm pulling the plug if he decided to say that he could do that i, th I mean i don't know about like stocks and stuff i don't know how that would work he's probably got board members he has to appease but they could decide collectively to pull it down and pull the plug and get rid of it because because of what's going on in the world and we would have absolutely no say at all 
and no way to get a hold of our people at that point. Like all of the work that you've put into social media, building a tribe over there would be completely gone. You would have no way to talk to your people anymore if that happened. If he woke up on the wrong side of the bed one morning and somehow convinced his board people to close down Instagram and Facebook, we would be done. There's nothing we could do. If you have an email list, you still have your people. You can talk to them through their inbox. Um, so that's better than just putting all of your eggs in the social media basket. It's not, it's not good business. You could potentially lose all, all of the contacts and all of the people that you've worked so hard in building relationships with. So that's another reason why email marketing is super important. Um, two, it helps you get to know who your truest fans are better. It helps you get to know who really likes what you're selling. Because if they really like you and what you're selling, they're going to join your email list. If you could get in deeper with those people and figure out, okay, this is my email list. Okay, um, it's Taylor, Taylor Flanagan. And I'm going to go look her up on Facebook and see who is this Taylor Flanagan? What can I learn about her? She's on my email list. I see that she opens every email that I send her. Let me learn more about her because she apparently really likes what I'm doing and other people people that are like her will also really like what I'm doing. So Taylor is a very good example of your ideal customer because she keeps opening your emails. So you can go into Facebook and do a little investigating and figure out what kind of person Taylor is. And if you went to our Taylor, you would see that she's a dog lover. She's a millennial. Sorry. She's a first time homeowner. Like things like that is what you would be able to see from her Facebook account and that is information that you can take as the business owner and start tweaking your product line or your like marketing copy the, th the things that you say or write when you talk to your people you could be tweaking it to connect with your ideal customer better because you know who she is better because she opens your emails and you had her on your email list if that makes sense okay guys that's it for part one of the email video series short sweet digestible info nuggets. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Feel free to sign up to my email list through the link below if you want to see how I run mine inside of my business. At the end of this series, I will be sending everyone on my list an email list building resource, so stay tuned for that. I will be rolling out parts two, three, and four of this series over the next couple of weeks, so be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing. In part two, I will be talking all about the email provider I use, MailChimp, and tell you the pros and cons I have found while working with them. But if you are a go-getter and you want to start an email list today, I will put a referral link to MailChimp in the description below. That's all I have for today, folks. I will see you next week for part two.